So as I continue to make progress on the puzzle, you notice that the edges, when, although it's good to get all the edge pieces for the proper edge correct, uh, for the correct edge that is, putting them in the right order is not necessarily easy. And I've found that for the left edge, the pieces weren't right, I had to pull some apart. For the bottom edge, I've had to pull some apart to get things to work. And now, for the right edge. Let me zoom in and show you what I mean. Notice this piece right here and this piece right here. They probably don't go next to each other because it's not a smooth run from here to here. You see a little jump. And although that, this one looks like it's right, it may not be right either. And here's the proof. As I worked my way down, I was finding difficulty getting the right pieces to fit. And you'll notice that this piece used to be right in here. And that is not the correct piece. It's pretty obvious. But it was in there earlier. So I'm going to take that out and find another piece that looks like it may go there. It's probably going to be this one right here. So I'm going to pull that out. And we'll figure out the rest later and put it over here. And that fits nicely. I'm still having trouble finding this one, but sometimes I just miss a piece. And then as far as the rest of this edge and where this piece goes, we'll figure that out as we work our way down. The point is that um, the edges seem to go together, but because there's nothing other than maybe a little bit of black on some of them, uh, there's really nothing that distinguishes one from the next. Edge pieces, um, if you think you got it right, you may not have it right. All right, and uh, some of that background noise was my granddaughter building a puzzle of her own. So that's the end of this video. I'm going to continue on for the next session.